وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. الله صلى الله عليه على رسول الله. This is your brother Uthman ibn Farooq back with a book unboxing that's really exciting. And why is it so exciting? Because I love the seerah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. I love the life of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. I've loved to read about it. I've taught it. And I'm always concerned with the most authentic narrations about the seerah. And most of the books of seerah are filled with weak narrations. Even ones that are very commonly quoted, like Ibn Ishaq and so on, are filled with weak narrations. They're valuable works, but there's a lot of weak narrations. So me, as somebody who likes to follow that which is authentic and established, I always try to find what is most authentic. Now, there are some amazing works done on the seerah looking at the authentic narrations, but there is a recent one that I'm really excited about, and unlike most of the books, I've actually not read this work yet. Um, I was in Kuwait, alhamdulillah, uh, with some very good brothers, and I found this book, and I had to have it, and I had to share it with you, and I still haven't even opened it yet. Unlike most of the books where I already have a PDF that I've read, this one's a true mystery. So we're going to check it out together. But what's so important about this work, it is the Seerah Al-Mustafa, yani the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu life, as sahiha the authentic, ala manhaj al upon the methodology of the scholars of Hadith. So that's really amazing because some of the scholars of Seerah are a little bit lax with accepting weak narrations. Some of the fuqaha are more concerned about the ahkam. But the scholars of Hadith are very concerned about the authenticity of the narrations. So this is a work that's been compiled in two volumes, looking at the Seerah, in the authentic manner, using the methodology of the great scholars of hadith that are focused on looking at the chain of narrators and what is authentic. Now, the scholar who wrote this, Al Ustad Dr. Muhammad Abdullah Al Azami. Al Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah Al Azami is a great recent scholar. Um, I mean, he was somebody who was a professor in Saudi Arabia of uh, Indian background. The great thing about this Sheikh, and he's commonly known as Dia Rahman, even though his name is Muhammad, his kunya is Abu Ahmad, but uh, Sheikh Dia Rahman, Muhammad Al Azami, wrote an amazing other work that we've discussed before. It is, it's called Al Jami' Al Kamil Fi Ahadith Al Sahih Al Shamil. What is that? He wrote, and the one I have is 12 volumes. I know it's been printed in more volumes after that. But it's a 12-volume work collecting all the authentic ahadith on the abwab of fiqh. So, wudu, nawaqid al-wudu, how to perform the wudu, what, uh, what invalidates the wudu, the prayer, how, how the sifat of the prayer, how it's prayed, where to fold the hands, when to do raf al-yadain, all of those through hajj and zakah and so on. On the chapters that have to do with fiqh, but they're all hadith. So he collected everything that he found to be authentic on those subjects and in a large, beautiful 12 volume work, which I've really benefited a lot from, he put it together with references to where he collected the ahadith from. So knowing this scholar and the great work that he did here, when I saw that he put together authentic seerah of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, I was so excited. Now he passed away around 2020 recently, uh, so he's a recent scholar, so he had the ability to go and look at the earlier works of the scholars and collect from them. But again, he's been doing amazing work. May Allah bless him. Uh, I mean, he passed away recently, so may Allah have mercy upon him. And may Allah put all of these in his mizan hasanat, in his scale of good deeds. This is the true treasure that you leave behind. Sadaqa jariya, that which people till today are going to read and benefit from and he will get the reward even though in his grave he's going to be getting all that reward and that should encourage us to do Islamic activities that we leave behind a, a charity that will continuously bless us and get us the blessings from the work of Sadaqa Jariya. So without further ado, let's open it up. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bismillah. I'm always afraid not to hurt the books. Now that we've kind of... Oh. 
Gotta be careful. This has been printed in Kuwait. May Allah reward our brothers and sisters there for the good work that they're doing. And it's in two volumes. As you can see, it's kind of a cool color, brown, green with gold combo, um, solid binding. You know what I love? I love the smell of books, especially new books. Oh, it smells amazing. All right, so let's take a look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. It's got the cream colored paper, which I love. And I know people are like, oh, what does it matter? If you read a lot, it does matter because it's a lot easier on the eyes. You can read a lot more if you have that paper, which makes it easy. Now, what I love already is, first thing, there is the Sira, but he gives the references. So he says, this narration is Hassan. It was reported by Ahmad and Al-Hakim and Al-Bayhaqi and Dalal and Nabuwa. And then he gives the actual chain. Then he says, Al-Hakim said about it, it's authentic. Ibn Hajar in Fath al-Bari and Ibn Kathir in Bidaw and Nihaya said, it's not as jayyid, al-Qawi, it's strong. And it, and it is a Hassan, reliable narration. This is what I love. I love that checking of authenticity because then I know what I'm reading, I can rely upon. So it has the seerah with a hadith, but with it, every one of them, the references. Now, I love the mulawwin, yani the different colored print because it just makes it easier. So you have the hadith number in red and then the grading of the hadith in red. The hadith itself is in a bold black font and then the references to what the scholars of hadith said about it are in a lighter black font. Uh, the different colors, I enjoy it, um, especially when you read a lot, then you know it breaks up the monotony of, of, the, of the print. Um, amazing print. Two light volumes, amazing work. You need to get this work and benefit from it. And, and make dua for the author and hope that Allah allows us to leave behind such things that people will benefit from even after we have left this world so we continue getting that reward. May Allah make these works a means of us to love the Prophet ﷺ and follow in his footsteps. Wajazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaykum. وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين